Yay, Gareth and Laura found me. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Hello. Yay, you can all hear me. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Sean. Hi, Becca. Gareth and Laura. Jane and Tom. Hi, guys. Um, had a few issues. Sean saved the day. Thank you, Sean. Mwah. Hi, Adventures with Zach. Hi, Uniquely Universal. How is everyone? I've got a very bright light behind me as well. Let me see if I can turn around a little bit. One sec. Is that better? Uh, Becca's World, I am good. Now we're at our first destination. Um, it's taken a little bit longer than I anticipated. So I had about 20 minutes to set up tonight. Um, and then it was all going horribly wrong. But uh, Sean from See Sean Vlog saved the day for me. So thank you, Sean. I'm tired from smashing a kickboxing session. Go, Chloe. I'm not going to be messing with you anytime soon. Sean, what's fancy? The hotel? Or me. <laughs> Hi, Reeves family. Simon and Lisa, just one of you. You've been told you have a mean punch, Chloe. I'm sure you do, but I don't want to find out, so I'm going to stay on your good side. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Karen. Hi, everyone. Uh, the hotel has a castle pick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe a castle, maybe a church. It has a pick of some sort, yeah. Uh, Karen, I'm with Steffi, Sid, and Natasha. Hi, Steffi, Sid, and Natasha. Wow, four in one go. Church, man. Yeah, I think it's a church. It's a church. Uh, girls' night, and you've chosen to invite this queen into your girls night thank you very much so i don't know how long i'm going to be live tonight because um we need to get some food and we just found out the bar stopped serving food at 10 no, half nine 10 10 10 they stopped serving food at 10 so i'll stay here as long as i need to be all hail queen jason <laughs> oh dear this is a little bit weird um yeah, hi Ward is world. Um, just had to get headphones as disturbing the footy. Oh no, we don't want to be disturbing the footy. Um, appreciate you all joining me though instead of watching the footy. Is it still 2 0? 2 0 to Belgium, was it? Is it still going on? Hashtag Queen Jason. I'm down with that hashtag. Let's go for it. <clears throat> oh my god, I've got a Dave. Yes, I have got a Dave to my right hand side. Um, it's a female, Dave. Dave Davina. Davina. I've got a Davina. 2-1. Oh, 2-1. So Brazil have scored. As long as it wasn't Neymar. Uh, I'll try and keep up with all your comments. So we're doing well. The quality is a bit naff because I'm on my laptop and I wasn't planning to be. So uh, sorry. Didn't know football was on. Chloe, where have you been? It's the World Cup. Um, and speaking of the World Cup, we've had to change our plans for tomorrow a little bit because we can't miss the game at three o'clock. So, um, yeah, so plans for tomorrow have changed a little bit, but there'll still be plenty of action tomorrow. Uh, wasn't Neymar good? Neymar too busy on the floor. Absolutely, sure. And that's where he spends most of his life, I think, isn't it? Unless he's modelling and then he stands up for that. But um, Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining me. Um, I've got no real set plan for tonight. I just thought I'd kick off the road trip. Um, I'm very hot and sweaty. Um, it's so hot, ridiculously hot. But um, the aircon's off at the minute because I didn't want it to be too noisy for the stream. So I'll be putting it on. Hashtag fit for Florida. Yes, Chloe, fit for Florida. Um, where am I, Sean? I am in Andover. So not far from Salisbury. Um, just trying to avoid any objects that we're not sure what they are because we don't want Novichok poisoning from the Russians. So uh, we're not going to be picking anything up while we're here. Um, 
Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. Um, and yes, Laura, I am definitely moist. It was a very moist journey down. Um, we got stuck in traffic through Croydon, which is possibly one of the worst places in the world to get stuck in traffic. But I am very moist. Uh, oh, hi, Troy and Emma. Just seeing you pop up into the chat. Um, my chat keeps disappearing, guys. So if I miss anyone or I look like I'm blubbering because I can't see anything and I probably am so at the minute it's completely blank so I can't see anything any of you are saying um here we go it's back again uh no air con you're going to be moist there is air con I just haven't turned it on yet um it's not too bad in here at the minute and there is free water so hail the free water oozing moistness indeed oh Gareth thank you yes my first ever live stream Oh, thanks, Karen. Uh, no idea where Andover is or Salisbury. We're sort of southern England heading towards the southwest. So um, not too far from Stonehenge. Um, and heading further west tomorrow. So I'll be ending the day tomorrow in Bristol. So where we're planning on watching the football now, which wasn't the plan originally, but man's got to watch football so uh how many days to florida sorry and woman's got to watch the football i've just been shouted at how many days to florida 96 96 days until i go to florida uh what's your plans for food and tomorrow plans for food tonight or just plans for food in general plans for food tonight is to literally eat whatever we can get our hands on whatever's at the bar um plans for tomorrow are now going to a rock circle which some of you may have heard of some of you may not um and then so it's going to be an early start tomorrow as well then we are heading over to cheddar gorge so we're going to go and get as much done at cheddar gorge as we can some of the cave systems maybe jacob's ladder if we're feeling brave um, and then on to Bristol to watch the football and maybe some sightseeing around Bristol in the evening, which is a bit of a change to the plan that we originally had. So, uh, hi, Luke and Rich. I've just seen you in the chat. Uniquely universal? No, not long at all until Florida. So, uh, Bristol, can you just sneak over the bridge and come watch free here at our home? <laughs> oh, Gareth and Laura, I'd love to, but it's not quite just sneaking over the bridge, is it? It's a little bit further than that. So, um, uh, food tonight, Sean. Yeah, whatever we can lay our hands on. I have got some crisps that I didn't eat on the way down. I can't remember what crisps I got, but um, uh, hi, next picks all the way from Florida. Hello, it's very Floridian here today. Very humid, very hot. Uh, Laura Rock Circle, indeed. Yeah, uh, it may not be the one you're expecting me to go to, though. You know, I don't want to give too much away. Um, mm, cheese. Yes, Sean, plenty of cheese in cheddar. Uh, guys, I have a few Proseccos and now I'm in Caff Kidston about to buy a 60 pound Alice bag. Go for it, Karen, just do it. You know you want it, 60 pounds nothing, it's only money, it's fine. Uh, I'm completely missing football tomorrow, is watching Thriller Live. Well, Chloe, what can you do? L let me know what it's like though, because I want to go and see that, so please let me know your thoughts. Um, the girls are encouraging me absolutely Karen you need that bag it's not my money spend it it's fine Timo Sullivan buy it Karen see so, yeah Sean Karen do it Karen you'll be encouraged by a lot of people here uh, Luke and Rich excited for my trip me too um, so just to give you all a bit of background one of the reasons I wanted to do this trip is because as you all know, I've lived in the UK all my life, but I've never really seen any of it. So I grew up in Kent. I've always lived in Kent and in London, apart from a 10 year blip when I lived in Norfolk. Um, and that's pretty much all I've seen other than a couple of cities like Birmingham. Um, I've not really seen any of this country at all. Uh, when I was in Disney World this time, just gone, I come off of Pirates of the Caribbean and there was a lady from North Carolina behind the checkout. I went to buy a drink and she heard my accent and asked me where I was from. I said, London. She went, oh, I went there three years ago. Um, went to this little place just outside London, about an hour's drive called blah, 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 blah. 
do you know it? And I just stood there and was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I kind of feel like I need to get out and see this country and the road trip is the best way for me to do it. So we're going to be going to lots of places. Um, Stacey, Disney on Wheels, hello. Don't worry, you're not too late. You haven't really missed anything. Just me talking rubbish, as I always do. Uh, Karen, bye, bye, bye from Luke and Rich. Then post pics, absolutely. We need to see it. And we need to see the evidence that you've bought it as well. Um, Nick's pics, do the rock circles leading to Jamie Frazier? You're going to have to explain that to me. That's gone straight over the top of my head. Uh, Becca's World, are you coming to Essex on your road trip? Yes. I am coming to Essex on my road trip towards the end of the road trip. So the end of next week, Sunday, I'll be coming through Essex on the Sunday. Uh, who else have we got here? Blah, blah. Karen, I guess I better buy it. Yes, I guess you better. And post the pics. Um, who else have we got here? Karen, you're with the wrong audience to stop you. Definitely, Sean. Uh, Troy and Emma, you definitely need the bag. I haven't seen one comment yet that's telling Karen not to buy this bag. I think we're all a bad influence. Um, am I doing a live vlog each night to update you? <sighs> I don't know, is the honest answer. Um, I'm still a little bit undecided whether to do short one-take vlogs every day, a mini vlog like I did in Florida, or just mix it up and maybe do a mini vlog, maybe do a live every now and then. But I don't want to guarantee there's going to be a live every night because some places we might be arriving to quite late. But there will be plenty of daily updates. There will be stuff on YouTube, but there will also be stuff on Twitter. I made Periscope. That might be easier. Um, and Insta stories definitely as well. So you can keep up with me there. Um, correction, getting paid to see Thriller. Well... <laughs> You definitely can't miss that. You can always watch a football and replay. It's fine. We won't tell you the score. Um, you have to watch the footy. It's coming home. Let's hope so, Reeves family, Simon and Lisa. I really do hope so. But um, still some tough teams to get past if we're going to do that. So uh, it's a done deal. Karen's bought the bag, everybody. Yes. The behind the vlog person is cheering for you as well, Karen. <laughs> um I'm Welsh and I'm still wanted to come home just so we can all stop here in about 66. You're only jealous. You're only jealous. We've won it once. Uh, it'd be lovely for all the home nations to be there together, though. We can all party together. Uh, so many lovely people here tonight. Absolutely. So many lovely people in here. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. I, it's always nervous when you do these first one. As many of you know, you've already done your first one. So... You never quite know who's going to turn up and the issues I had as well. But we seem to be going all right now. Great first live stream, Jason. Thank you, Timo Sullivan, Jane and Tom. Um, all the way back from where I've just come from. <laughs> uh, definitely come up to North. Oh, wait. Sorry. Uniquely universal. Definitely come up to North Yorkshire. Beautiful. I am coming to North Yorkshire. And yes, I've heard it's beautiful. I've only ever been to South Yorkshire before. So, um, Jace, I'm exactly the same. I know my little town in Cardiff. I don't know Cardiff. <laughs> but I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Outlander reference. Okay. Lost on me, sorry. I'm sure other people in here know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, what else have we got? I'm trying to catch up, guys. Um Great live stream, Jason. Jane Lacey, thank you very much. Um, hey, Zoe. Thank you for joining me. Uh, hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Blimey, Zoe, you're popular tonight. <laughs> uh, you're just too late to encourage Karen to buy a £60 bag in Calf Kidston, but the good news is she's bought it. So, um, Thanks, Luke and Rich. Uh, Yes, Jane and Tom, Gareth and Laura do need to come to London, preferably when I finish the road trip and I'm there, though, as well. Um, there's a little cutie pie waiting for my kisses in London. Is that me, Laura? Am I the little cutie pie waiting for your kisses? <laughs> uh, 
Wahoo, go Karen, indeed. Go Karen. Uh, finally got the chat working on my phone. You're doing great, Jason. Thank you, leap year thing. I'm assuming that's Sid or is that James? Because Sid's with Karen. I'm confused. Uh, does it involve editing my DLP vlog, Sean? Because other than Gareth and Laura. Now, I know Laura does all the editing. You need to get your DLP vlogs out. We all want to see them, please. Thank you. Um, going to have an amazing time. I hope so, Zoe. The weather's looking fantastic. I can't believe how lucky I am with the weather. This has been planned for, when did we plan this? About three months ago? Before I went to Florida. Before I went to Florida, so longer than three months ago. Um, and I was planning on packing for every eventuality, rain, wind, sun, heat. You just never know what you're going to get in a British summer, as those of you that live here will know. But it just looks fantastic right across the country. A bit cooler when I go north, but still warm, dry, blessed. Absolutely blessed with the weather. Can't believe it. Um, you got 26 people and I had five. I was live from soft opening of Toy Story Land. Ah, oh, Nick's picks, it's not all about the numbers. It's about the quality of those people watching you. Um, and you were live from the soft opening of Toy Story, so I would imagine there was quite a lot of live streams at the time. But we all love you, so you're doing a great job, Nick's picks. Um, footy update, five minutes of added time. <laughs> Is it still 2-1? I'm guessing it's still 2-1. Nobody else has said anything. I'm sure Simon and Lisa would be um, jumping in here and saying so. I'm so excited for your trip. Me too, Sean. Um, L Glitter, love your vlogs and a great first live stream. Thank you, L. Good evening to you. Um, what else have we got? I'm saying um a lot. That's my filler word. Are you heading through Essex to catch a boat? To catch a boat? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having something just trying to mouth to me here. I don't think that's what they mean. Am I heading through Essex to catch a boat? As in across the ocean to Disneyland Paris? No. <laughs> I wish I was, but no. Um, Cardiff is beautiful. Also where I grew up, not too far from Cardiff. Barry Island. Is that Gavin and Stacey? Barry Island. I think. Um Obviously, Gav Gavin and Stacey don't really live there. Is the dance-off still on? I'm always up for a dance-off. Always up for a dance-off, me. I, there's hardly a vlog that I don't dance in, as you all know, so um, I'm always off for a dance-off. Um, right, guys, we'll have to tweet a pic. Yes, Karen, we need to see a pic of this bag, please. Oh, £60 pound like money. I thought, who would want to carry such a heavy bag? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nick's picks. We don't work in dollars over here, unfortunately. Um, if we're working in dollars, that would mean we're all in America and we'd all be very happy. Uh, I'm very happy right now, if a little warm and a little tired and a little dry, but we'd all be happier in America, I'm sure, everyone that's in here. Uh, I got told to step away from the bag whilst in Florida. Apparently, I have enough already. Probably not the best person to ask on handbags, but can you have enough handbags, ladies? This one's saying, no, you can't. Uh, leap your thing, it's Sid. Hi, Sid. Uh, Jace, I'm tired, moist, and having an awful night, but pleased your stream is going well. Never doubted you wouldn't have a good one, my queen. Thank you, Caroline. Yes, Laurie, I think you've been invited to literally everybody's house. So, um, get driving. Uh, Our Glitter, such a lovely and positive community. Absolutely. I think... When I first started doing YouTube, I had absolutely no idea that this community was out there. And having found that community over the last, what's coming up for almost a year now on YouTube, it's just blown me away. The people in this community are absolutely fantastic. And one of my aims this year has been to meet as many of those people as possible. I'm off to a great start. I've met loads and loads of people so far, and I'm yet to meet a bad apple. So lovely lovely people fantastic community really supportive as it shows tonight with you all in here which i really really appreciate so um definitely lovely lovely community um dance off has to happen dance off will happen i'm sure there'll be many dance offs coming up i have been asked by a lot of different people if we can do a dance off so um 
maybe we'll have like a mass dance off. Maybe at the barbecue, if you're coming to the barbecue that Reese family are hosting. Just saying. Um, I'm sharing Karen's earphones and reading on my phone. Oh, bless. Sharing is caring. Laura, if you go elsewhere first, we will fall out and Harley won't be happy. So, Laura, you can go to everyone's house, but you've got to go to Sean and Caroline in Newcastle first. Uh, Karen B, we're having a crazy night. Please tell more. We know about the bag, but define crazy. We need to know more. Uh, right, guys, I'm off to see you all soon. Bye, Becca, as well. Bye, Becca. Thank you for joining me. Um, uniquely universal. We need it after the winter we have had. Absolutely. It was freezing this winter, and now the summer is roasting. So, way it should be. I don't mind the cold winter if we get the hot summer. Uh, and the fact that it's coinciding with the road trip as well, couldn't be happier. Um, hey, Shari. Good evening. Uh, Zoe, still pack a few bits just in case. When we done the 500 miles for 500 subscribers, we got soaked at Go Ape. It poured all day. Yes, still planned a little bit. I've got a couple of warm jumpers, etc., to put on. I've got a couple of pairs of jeans, etc. Um, the car's got heating as well as aircon, which is always good. Uh, we've got road trip towels that we're going to leave in the boot just in case we need to dry off. So it is hot and it looks like it's going to be hot and dry. But as you know, thunderstorms probably never too far away and i don't want to be getting caught in one of those uh hi nicole good evening don't worry about being late i'm still here uh why are you not doing universal next trip <coughs> so <coughs> the reason i'm not doing universal next time i go to florida is because i'm not going solo this time i am taking my parents with me or they're taking me with them I'm going with my parents um, and my mum is unable to do thrill rides. So it's going to be a very different style of Florida holiday for me. It's going to be more about what we can do together. And my mum is dying to get back out to Disney World. Um, and I want to take her back out there, even if it's one last time, to go and see things like Happily Ever After, um, we're hoping to do Mickey's Not So Scary as well and see the Booty You parade, things like that. Rivers of Light. She's never seen Pandora. There's so much in Disney World that is new since she last went that I really want to take her out to see all of that. So we're going to be focusing on Disney for that reason. Um, but we're also planning on seeing some more of Florida places that we've never been before, like St. Augustine and some of the beach towns. I know Luke and Rich have recommended St. Pete's Beach. So, um, and she also wants to do a few different things like the boats on the swamp to see the alligators and that sort of thing. So it's going to be a very different type of Florida holiday this time. Um, but I'm looking forward to that because it's something completely different for me. And that's one of the things I love about Florida and I'm sure you all do as well, is that every time you go, you can do something different and there's always something new to do. So that's why I'm not doing Universal this time. Um, are you going to York, Shari? Yes, I am going to York. I will contact you. Um, I'm trying to keep up, guys. You lot are amazing. <laughs> chatting so much, and I can see you all chatting amongst yourselves as well. Absolutely brilliant. Love this. Love watching other people's live streams. So to be the one hosting it is a little bit strange, but loving it. Um, I'm not there anymore. I don't miss it. Come to Shropshire. I may be close by. Dance off is on. I've been practicing my moves. Oh, Karen, it is on. You've been practicing. I practice pretty much every day, and I've now got nine whole days of vlogging on a road trip to practice even more. I'm sure they'll be dancing in the vlog. So um, it is on. Looking forward to it. Uh, football update Brazil out. Yes. Yes. Um, We've only got to get past Belgium if we want to win it. Um, never enough bags from Troma. So um, that's getting a thumbs up over here as well. No such thing as too many bags. Uh, Luke and Rich, thank you very much for joining me. Good evening, guys. 
Um, I feel like I'm very far behind, but uh, this chat is taking ages to catch up. So thanks for explaining. You're welcome, Uniquely Universal. I haven't given much details on that trip yet, obviously, because I've got the road trip coming up first, but feel free to fire any questions at me. So, um, And on social media as well, fire them. Um, your mum is going to have an amazing time. Outside of the park bits is incredible too. We always try and do something outside the parks. Yeah, she loves Florida. She loves Disney. She likes Universal, um, but it's just not worth the money to go in there when she can't go on anything. So, um, yeah, she's going to have an amazing time. Uh, Troy and Emma, Troma, thank you for joining me. Have a good evening, guys. Um, so who is guarding our queen? Who is guarding our queen? Our behind the vlog person is guarding our queen. You may see the behind the vlog person in some of the full vlogs when they come out. Um, she's just not brave enough yet to sit in front of the camera. The world's not ready for it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, celebration is good too for your mum. Yeah, actually, that's another place we've been looking at, Celebration. So, um, yeah, thanks for that recommendation. I'm going to look into it a little bit more. There's... We're out there for 10 nights this time, um, hoping to spend four or five days in and around Disney doing different things. So that leaves us plenty of opportunity to go off and do other things. So um, Celebration is definitely one I'll look at. Thanks for that, Uniquely Universal. Are you vlogging with your parents? Do you mean, will I be vlogging the trip or do you mean, will they be in the vlogs? Because if the answer is, am I vlogging the trip? Of course. Um, will they be in the vlogs? Probably from time to time. Um, I get my personality from my mum, so she probably won't be able to resist to jump in front of the camera when I'm recording a time. So I'm fairly certain you will see them in the vlogs. Um, but yes, I will be vlogging. It won't be stopping me. Don't worry. Um, oh, I've just missed somebody's going. Uh, we've got to go, Jason. Time for more beers. Oh, bye, Karen and everybody that's with Karen, Steffi, Sid and Natasha. Um, wish I'd got a beer right now. I'm so envious. Uh, Gatorland is good. Very underrated. Yeah, Stacey, that's somewhere I've never been either, Gatorland. Um, maybe that's something I'll look up as well, because I don't think that's very expensive, and you can normally get discount vouchers for there as well, so that's another one I might look up. Um, I've done, because my mum wants to go out on the boat on the swamps to see the alligators, and I've done Boggy Creek before, and I really enjoyed that, so... I would probably naturally fall back to that one again, but I'm open for recommendations definitely because I'd love trying new places. So um, feel free to chuck any recommendations at me. Uh, we're a friendly bunch. Yes, Sean, you are a friendly bunch. I'm with your mum, Jace. That's why we haven't done Universal yet. Final or everybody's different. Um, I think we all appreciate different things when we're in Florida. So I, I like Universal. I only went for a day out of the two weeks this time, and that was enough for me to get my fix. But I'm not a Halloween Horror Nights fan. I'm absolutely terrified, I'm not afraid to say. So um, that sort of thing doesn't do anything for me at all. I try and avoid it, and I'd rather stay in the Disney magic. But everyone's different. So we've hired bikes at Celebration. Oh, that could be interesting. <laughs> um, my mum can't ride a bike, so maybe I could teach her to ride a bike in celebration. That would make an amazing vlog when she ends up in the bushes. So as long as she doesn't end up in the water and there's alligators in there, because I'm definitely not going in. I hope you're not watching, mum. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she is watching. If you are watching, hi, mum. I love you. Um, I love Universal Harano Halloween Haranite. Oh, I, can't, I can't talk. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Halloween at Horror Nights is my fave event. Rich, good for you. <laughs> good for you. You go and do it all for us. Scott, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I've just seen a comment. Let me go back. Uh, Adventures with Zach. Winter Park is a lovely little place outside of Disney. I've heard something about Winter Park. Somebody recommended that to me before I went this time, but I've never been. So I'll look that one up as well. Thank you. Skyflyer. Yes, Rich. Skyflyer. I am fully intending to go and get myself on the Skyflyer. Obviously, I won't be taking my mum on the Skyflyer, um, but I am hoping that we will stop by. I can sit them outside the bar with a drink. I'm sure they'll be more than happy. And I am hoping to go and try the Skyflyer. Um, 
can recommend Lowry Park Zoo in Tampa, Sea Screamer on Clearwater Beach, and Homo Sasa Park too to see wild manatees. Oh, that would be cool. Wild manatees. I like that. Um, I'll have to try and remember all this. I'll have to go back on the chat and all these recommendations. So I'll maybe contact him some of you in the near future. Uh, tandem bike. That's a good idea. Tandem bike. Yeah. So I can do all the pedaling. Fit for Florida whilst in Florida. I'd love to see the Harry Potter stuff. Maybe I'll get brave one day. Laura, the Harry Potter stuff is my favourite bit of Universal. Um, and I don't think you necessarily need to be that brave for the Harry Potter stuff. They're just very good, immersive rides that you would absolutely love. So if you really want to do the Harry Potter stuff, I would recommend going to Universal because it is fantastic. And not all of the rides are massive thrill rides but it's not necessarily that massive thrill ride that my mum can't do so a lot of the simulation rides and things she won't be able to do so kong um fast and furious transformers spider-man all of those she won't be able to do so it's just pointless um but definitely i would check out universal uh mickey's not so scary party halloween party is the best do you know what nick's picks all the times i've been to florida I have never, ever done Mickey's Not So Scary, which is why I have tried to persuade my parents that we need to go, and they're on board now, so um, I'm hoping to get that sorted soon. Uh, hi, Chris. Shari's other half. Um, remember, I went to see that horror film. was not scary at all. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying on Twitter, Chloe, you were going to see that horror film. A not scary horror film is my kind of horror film. Absolutely. Halloween Horror Night. Yeah, I can't talk. Um, I'll get you to Halloween Horror Nights, Jace. Thanks, Sean. Um, yes to Halloween Horror Nights. I, I know people absolutely love Halloween Horror Nights, and I understand why if it's their sort of thing, but it's just not my sort of thing. But I have always said if I'm there in a group, I am the sort of person that gives in to peer pressure, and I would probably get dragged to it. And I might even end up loving it. Who knows? But... I'm the sort of person I will try something once, but it's not something I'd go to on my own. So if I was there with a group, I would do it. Um, I'm doing Skyfly in October. Nice, uniquely. Uh, uniquely Universal, when are you there? What are your dates? Halloween Horror Nights, no thanks. Mickey's not so scary every night. Yes, Gareth and Laura, I'm with you there. That sounds amazing. Hoping to do Sea Screamer this year. Thanks for the recommendation, Simon and Lisa. Absolutely, Zoe. Didn't you, um, you done something, didn't you swim with manatees? I'm sure I remember seeing you swim with manatees. That was something that Crispy Small sorted out for you. Uh, Gareth, you'd love Universal. Laura, you'd be okay with it. Definitely. Uh, doing our first Halloween Horror Nights. Gareth loves mazes, but Chloe is still learning, going to be an experience. That it will, Chloe. Let us know how you get on. Um, I'm sorry, these comments are jumping like crazy, so I'm trying to keep up. I've, I've just missed one that I now can't find. So I do apologise if I miss it. Uh, Zoe, the British life, I need to get to Blackpool for Icon. Absolutely. I know some of the guys in here tonight have been and ridden Icon, so um, it looks amazing. Definitely with you there. If you're ever there with a group, you can do Halloween Horror Nights. Unless I'm in the group, I'm not doing Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, Laura, bless you. Uh, hi, Steffi, Adventurer Zoe. Uh, adventures with that, Zach. Anyone else having problems with connection? Keeps jumping on and off. Any problems with connection, guys? I am on hotel Wi-Fi, so um, it is what it is. Sorry. Um I'd love to swim with manatees, be lovely swimming with something with the same body type as myself. <laughs> oh, Zoe, bless you. Oh, you have made me laugh, but you look fabulous. So, but I love manatees as well. So manatees and Stacey, you look absolutely fabulous. We love you just the way you are, but you've definitely given me a giggle. Uh, your main, Gareth and Laura's main TV is doing that, but phone connection is okay. I'm 
rocking the airwaves. That's what it is. Absolutely rocking the airwaves. Uh, I'm sure that's not the case. I, I can see somebody saying bye, and I can't see who. Oh, Reeves family, Simon and Lisa, thank you for joining me tonight, guys. Um, possibly see you soon. We did Halloween Horror Nights last year after Rose, and it was fine. Everyone's saying bye to Simon and Lisa. <laughs> Uh, must be our connection. Sorry about that, Adventures with Zach. Sorry about your connection. If I could fix it, I would. Um, has anyone got any particular questions about the road trip that they haven't asked yet before I start talking rubbish? Only issue is now I've got her up my fancy dress game. Yes, Gareth and Laura, your fancy dress game does need up in for Mickey's Not So Scary. I, uh, for one, am looking forward to see how you top Bro White. <laughs> oh, dear. Still laugh at that vlog every time I watch it back. Uh, Flo Rich the Vlogs. Rich, we did the RIP tour at Halloween Horror Nights. Says you don't have to queue straight in and out. That could be better for me, actually, because I think the anticipation of waiting in line for a maze would probably kill me. Uh Give me Halloween, uh, sorry, give me Mickey's Not So Scary every time. I can't see me coping well with people popping up in my face with chainsaws. I'd have to batter them. Job done. Um, yeah, I, I've always said, put me in a real haunted house with actual ghosts, I'd be fine. Give me people. Uh, uh, pop to Kent for a cuppa. Zoe, I would love to pop to Kent for a cuppa. Unfortunately, I'm not going anywhere near Kent on this trip because... I live there, so <laughs> I live on the Kent London border, so I am pretty much there all the time. So if the offer of a cup of stands, I will be round. Although, if there's coffee, even better. Alcohol, then, well, hey. Uh, I want bro Punzel. Great suggestion, suggestion, Chloe. I think that has been thrown into the mix at points, but um, it's all very under wraps, whatever they're up to, so... Uh, condensed Mako, Sean is saying about Icon. So I loved Mako, so it sounds like I'd love Icon as well. Uh, Nick's picks doing Mickey's Not So Scary on the 2nd of October. Hmm. Just before I had to, <laughs> I had to think about that then because it's the American date. So <laughs> I've nearly said on the 10th of February. That wouldn't have made much sense, but. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's before I get there, but you know that. You already know my dates. Um, Jace, come up to Newcastle for some scare events to get you in the mood. Well, from what I've seen on Geordie Shore, I think most Saturday nights in Newcastle are a scare event, aren't they? So <laughs> maybe I'll just come up for a Saturday and we'll go out around midnight and have a walk around. Um Oh, this has just jumped again, so sorry if I miss your comments, guys. Um, where's the furthest you're going on your road trip, Jace? The furthest I'm going on my road trip is into Scotland. I will be crossing the England-Scotland border, so that will be the furthest north that we go. So into Scotland. Um, although probably part of Scotland that we're in is further south than when we will be in Berwick which is actually still in England because the border's a bit funky so Berwick is probably the furthest north I'll be going uh, we have two ghosts in our house so it's like Halloween Horror Nights every night <gasps> Stacy let me come and do an investigation with you we'll vlog it all we'll do a live we'll do a YouTube live all night it'll be like Ghost Adventures UK it will be fabulous uh, Laura, you'll be looking after me, says Caroline. A group of us are doing RIP this year in September, more the merrier. Nice, sorry. Uh, yes, you need to get back out to Florida because I'm very sad about your vlog series nearly coming to an end because I've absolutely loved it. So, um, as you already know, because I've messaged you about it. So, uh, and I'm assuming you'll be taking the 360 camera as well. 
Shelley unplug the modem, that will be the problem. Jazz man with Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin. <laughs> oh, Sean. I've been waiting for you to make a comment like that. I've, I've, I've either just missed them all, or oh, that's the first one you've made. Um, sorry, guys, this keeps jumping, so I apologise. I'm missing some here. Uh, Stacy, yay, ghosts. Let's do it. Definitely up for that. Uh, make sure you get your kilt on then, and real Scotsmen don't wear anything under them, don't forget. You'll be in your element. <laughs> I have got some plans for the videos for the Scottish border. Um, you will have to wait and see what that is. Um, oh my days, Blocahontas, yes. <laughs> Blocahontas, I love it, Blocahontas. Uh, I've I missed who suggested Blocahontas, but um, that is genius, absolute genius. So whoever that was, good on you. Um, slowly getting used to their scare mazes, but love rides in the dark. I love rides in the dark. Absolutely. Um, scare mazes, not so much. I've also been invited to, I can't remember the name of the place, Tully's Farm this year. Maybe not. Um, Peter Pan and Windy, is that a typo, Sean? Or <laughs> is that intentional? <laughs> uh we need ideas too for 2019. Timo Sullivan need your ideas. They need your costume ideas, so chuck them their way. Um, Gareth's half Scottish. He can teach you Scottish as well as I've taught you Welsh. Laura, you have taught me Welsh brilliantly, so much so that I'm not even going to attempt it right this moment because I don't want to offend anybody. So um, I look forward to being taught Scottish by Gareth at some point. Uh, Chris, that was me. I'm assuming you're the one that suggested bloke hunter so yes chris love it uh by uniquely universal indeed we will catch you on instagram and youtube over the weekend uh the scare zones are terrible mazes are decent see the scare zones i don't mind so much because you can sort of see people around you and you know what's coming it's the mazes so um i'd probably just be that one that keeps going on all the rides while there's not very long queues uh, Rich, I'll have to go check it out. So many people have said how amazing it is. Hoping to do a joint meetup with Get Binky for Scarefest this year. If you're doing a meetup with Get Binky for Scarefest, if if Dell screams in scare mazes like he does on roller coasters, then uh, that's going to be a real treat. Uh, one year, I'll check it out. I think we're coming to Scarefest that weekend too. So we are. This meetup's getting bigger. Um, Hilo and Stitch, Sherry. Shari says, Sherry? Shari. Awesome. Um, if I've missed anyone's question, because it does keep jumping a bit here, then do let me know, post it again so I can see it. But um, I can't believe I've been live for nearly three quarters of an hour and I haven't lost my voice yet because we had the music blasting out in the car on the way down here. And um, as you'll know from my videos, I enjoy singing and I've been um, blasting out to Carrie Underwood and Disney songs and One Direction, don't judge. Um, I just saw a comment, Jace, are you not meant to be eating? Whoops. I, I've actually got the bar menu here, but um, it doesn't have the opening times. But we're not we're not that far from the town here anyway so if we really need to we can go and find a 24-hour supermarket but all else fails we've got crisps and coffee so what more do you need uh the most fun at a scare event is working them i used to do the train track at colchester zoo and it was so fun making grown men scream <laughs> that is brilliant love it so i think i could quite happily be the one scaring um manastasia <laughs> uh Love Carrie Underwood. Yes, Timo Sullivan. I, I'm assuming that's probably Jane. Love Carrie Underwood. Absolutely amazing live. Uh, she gave me goosebumps. Uh, are you visiting any specialty you places on your tour? 
special to me places um not really i i think that's one of the things i'm hoping this tour is going to give me is that there isn't really anywhere in the uk that i would say is special to me there's nowhere that i'm drawn back to there's no special connections to anywhere um so i'm hoping i might find places on this trip that i fall in love with um my special connections now since i've been doing youtube are the places where my Diz fam are so you know who you are gareth and laura sean and caroline nathan and craig marvel at the magic tracy g all those guys wherever those guys are they're my happy places in the uk now which is great because i never really had any happy places in the uk until i met all you guys and started doing this so um yeah but hopefully i will find some places that i really love this time and that's one of the reasons i want to get out and and see more of the country so and also i think talking to people in america that are from america you kind of realize that it can be their dream to come to the uk and see things and i kind of feel i'm doing it an injustice if i don't get out and see some of it for myself and show that to people who may not ever be able to see it when it's all on my doorstep so that's why we're going uh, our drama group used to do halloween plays in delby forest we'd wait in the dark and cold and jump out on people it sounds like london most nights of the week <laughs> uh, i'm not the one waiting in the cold to jump out i'm yeah you know what i mean uh, what made you decide to call at the places you're going on your trip um that's a very good question for which i don't have a specific answer i think there were certain things i wanted to do on the trip and i'm obviously not on the trip alone i've got the behind the vlog person with me there's places that she would like to see as well and i'm open to go wherever really because as i say i've never been anywhere so we sort of mapped out the places that between us we kind of know we wanted to go and then just worked out a route from there and picked the overnight stops based on that. So that's how we come to what we are. Um, I'm a little bit, most days I'm fine with. Um, this coming Sunday is the day we have to drive the furthest and probably the day we will be at our destination the latest. So that's the one I'm a little bit, that's going to be a very long day but it's at the start of the trip we'll get it out of the way we'll, it'll all be good <laughs> unless we get lost in the middle of wales somewhere <laughs> and then, um, i'll be calling you gareth and laura <laughs> um it's all new memories to be made and new destinations to discover absolutely and destinations that i don't live that far away from in the grand scheme of things i spend all my money and time crossing the water to go to the states whether that's florida or california because I love it and as a lot of you guys do as well and it is my dream to one day get out there permanently but there's a whole country on my doorstep there's three whole countries on my doorstep that I've never seen so before that dream hopefully happens and I get to America it's the ideal time to get out and see it while I still have my youth um, these are going quicker than I can keep up with you guys are absolutely amazing um hashtag you're a memory maker i am a memory maker indeed um i'm a point fiver for life yes caroline you don't know what you've let yourself in for well actually you probably do know what you've let yourself in for but uh all of you are welcome point fivers for life if i enjoy youtube as much as i do now for the rest of my life i will be doing this until i die so um love a good theme park zoe don't we all um have some is that meant to say have some games planned for passing the time on the long journeys oh yes sorry i've just seen your correction sorry yeah have some games planned yeah um we uh we're very good at the yellow car game or i should say i'm very good at the yellow car game this one's got the bruises to prove it essex most dangerous place in the uk watch those essex birds <laughs> Uh, I don't think the Essex birds will be after me. They're, they're not my type at all, if you know what I mean. So um, I'm safe with the Essex birds, although from what I've seen, the Essex boys 
uh, we'll rescue you in the murder van. <laughs> so if we get lost in the middle of the world, in the middle of the world, in the middle of Wales behind the vlog person, we're getting rescued by Gareth and Laura in the murder van. Sounds great, doesn't it? Um, are you visiting the south coast such as Bournemouth, Weymouth, Swanage, etc.? Lovely seaside towns. Have a great trip wherever you're up to. Uh, hi, Sharon Davey. I don't think I've said hello to you yet tonight. Thank you for joining me. I am not. I'm not visiting the south coast this trip. I was in Portsmouth two weeks ago um, with some other YouTubers. So that vlog is up already if you want to check that one out. Um, but it doesn't take me long to get to the south coast. So I may be visiting the south coast again for day trips, etc. So I'm trying to get away to places that I wouldn't necessarily go for the day. So uh, not this trip, but probably in the future. Um, please reassure Davina that it's not actually a murder van. It's not actually a murder van, Davina. It is a kidnap van. Or, sorry, puppy patrol. Puppy patrol van. Uh, the UK has some amazing experiences to offer. I'm fully expecting it does, Zoe. And I think... Vlogging for me is one thing that's driving me to do it. So I, it's always something I've wanted to do is get out and see more of the country, but I've never really had that push to do it. So now that I'm vlogging, it gives me a whole new reason to do it as well. And once you announce that you're doing something, you kind of have to stick to it. So in a way, you guys have all sort of pushed me to finally get out on the road and go and see some of the UK. So thanks to all of you for for making my channel as successful as it is so far and pushing me to do new things and challenge myself and take myself out of my comfort zone. Davina doesn't drive, so I am doing all the driving as well. So it's gonna be a full on trip as those of you who know me will know, I don't do relaxing, so it's gonna be nonstop. So plenty of stuff going on, lots to do, but we've also left plenty of room for spontaneity which is a really big word at this time of the night after the driving down here. So um, there's going to be lots of spontaneous stuff happening as well. Uh, so <laughs> Sean, dance like 86.5. Everybody dance like 86.5. That sounds weird saying that because that's me. But yes, dance, dance, sing. And as Get Binky would say, do what makes you happy. Um, we just kidnap you... Davina, no murder involved. Um, only... I saw the Portsmouth vlog. Your plan sounds fab. Have fun. Thanks, Sharon. I hope it all comes off the plan. So it'll be good if it does. But, you know, if a few things don't go to plan, I'm sure it'll make good watching for you guys to have a laugh. Does Davina look relieved? Are you relieved that it's not a murder van? They're only going to kidnap you. She's smiling. Same here, Jace. YouTube and you guys give me the push. Absolutely. Oh, Caroline, what have you said? Your comment has been held for review. <laughs> oh, dear. It's just a little... Oh, no, we've jumped. It's just a little white van I saw. It's just a little white van, Chloe. Plenty of room in the back. Yes. Completely agree. Once you've said you're going to do something, you want to achieve it, and perfect way to make you stick to your dreams. Absolutely, Zoe. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's sort of having that, that thing to hold you to account, that you've got a following on Twitter, you've got a following on Instagram, you've got your subscribers and your viewers on YouTube, that once you say you're going to do something, they expect something from you, and you want to deliver on that because that's what you do. And the, one of the things I love about YouTube is knowing that people enjoy watching my videos, that I make people laugh, that I make people spit their drinks out, which I've had quite a lot recently, um, and that they get some sort of enjoyment out of my videos. So you feel not a duty as such, but I guess a kind of duty that once you say you're going to do something, you do it. So... Um, Adventures with Zach, thanks for doing it and sharing your journey with us. There's so many amazing people in this community that we would never have found. Don't need a TV license anymore. <laughs> Absolutely. 
I don't have a TV license anymore because I just don't have time to watch TV. YouTube is my TV and my entertainment. If I'm not editing or making my own videos, I'm watching everybody else's, including everybody that's in this chat. So um, as much as you say thank you to me for sharing mine with you, equally thank you to all of you for sharing yours with me and everyone else because there's some people in here that, I watched before I started that inspired me. There's people in here like Zoe, for example, that have done a solo trip. So when it come to me doing mine, there was inspiration taken from that and ideas taken from that as well. So, you know, thank you to all of you guys for sharing what you share as well. It's absolutely amazing that that saves me 250 odd pound a year. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you need food before they stop serving. Oh, don't worry. I'm looking at the menu and I am not paying £13 for a salad. So um, we'll find a shop if we need to. Uh, very true, Ben. We don't watch TV anymore. Gareth and Laura. Um, except Taskmaster and Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory, yes. Taskmaster, never seen. Um your channel is where it is because you're amazing and make us all smile. Oh, Zoe, thank you. You're trying to make me cry. Caroline, I've read your comment and I've reviewed it. <laughs> it's not coming on. <laughs> um, Caroline, have you said something naughty? Can Davina wave for us? Davina, come here. Right. They, they just want to wave. No, you're nowhere near. You're nowhere near. Here we go. Hand of Davina. Anybody want to watch? 20 quid. <laughs> uh, that's, it's worth more than that. Oh, voice of Davina. She has a voice. She's found her voice. We're getting closer. She'll be in the videos, I'm sure, even if it's just the back of her head inadvertently being in the videos. So um, it's an amazing community of people. Met some awesome people who are now friends for life. Vlogging is now is a bonus absolutely rich definitely i think that's the thing now that when i'm out making a video i'm not just making a vlog it's a way of communicating with the people i watch and it's something that you know people take time to make part of their evening part of their weekend and get enjoyment from so definitely and i've absolutely with you with me and the amazing people i've met so many amazing people so far this year I'm, I'm absolutely loving it um and rich obviously you're one of them so but yeah friends for life have been made purely because of youtube which is just an absolutely fantastic thing really this is the best side of social media and the internet when people like us with that common interest can connect with each other it's fantastic it really is um hashtag give us a wave davina <laughs> I'm trying to catch up with these. I feel like I'm very, very far behind. Um, Jane Lacey, loving Davina. Uh, well done, debut Davina. Can't wait to see the biceps next. <laughs> There's not much of them. Uh, <laughs> this is such a lovely and welcoming community. Absolutely, Timo Sullivan. I'm calling you by your channel name because um, I'm assuming you're both watching. Um, I say channel name, channel to be name. Um, a hand and a voice lovely hand and voice she's got two i think you're in safe hands there jace well you've only seen one but i like the pun great job Laura. you've been around me far too long uh davina will be the star of the show we'll see, we'll see she says we'll see um watch this space for her, her own youtube channel coming soon <laughs> no i'd have to edit it all for her um, so much love within this community. So happy to be part of it now. Yes, Chloe, making magic memories. We're happy you're part of the community as well now. So welcome. Um, my best friends are YouTubers. One of them is live right now. Oh, who's that? Who is your best friend that's live right now, Laura? And why are you not watching them? Why are you watching me? Uh, we're both here tonight. Then hi, Jane and Tom. Um, Sean and Caroline are live, question mark. <laughs> Oops, I mean they're both live right now. Don't start, Laura. Don't start. 
Gareth and Laura, you're melting my heart. Zoe, they melt my heart every day, believe me. Just lovely people. And they make me smile every single day without fail, as do Sean and Caroline. Um, and as do many of others as well on Twitter, Instagram, a comment on YouTube. It's amazing what that can do to your day and lift you up, especially some of the comments that I've been getting recently, which is uh, which is great. And if you've left the comments, you know who you are. Thank you very much. That really does mean a lot to me to read those. Um, and I do my best to come back on every one of them, even if it's not straight away. So it's hot. Everything's melting. Tell me about it. I am absolutely <laughs> roasting. I can't wait to get that aircon on. <laughs> I really can't. But I don't want to get rid of you. I've been on an hour, though. I'm conscious that I've been on an hour. So um, I'll wrap it up shortly. But um, you all seem to be having an amazing time in here chatting to each other. So um, King Dave says, what about him? Sorry, King Dave. You make me smile every day, too. Um, and we know you're the true star. So that's why you're King Dave. Hiking day, I'm assuming you're watching. Um, Adventures with Zach, moist. Moist is the word, indeed. Uber moist at the moment. Very, very moist indeed. Um, did I comment, did I like, but did I watch it though? Gareth and Laura, I always like and comment. I may have forgotten once. I put it right as soon as I remembered. Um, I need a G&T. I'd, I'd take anything right now. This water's perfect for me, but if anyone wants to bring me a drink, go for it. Um, King Dave has got competition here with Davina. Oh, I don't know. King Dave rules. Um, this is so much fun. Can we do it again tomorrow, please? <laughs> um, possibly. Um, I'm not going to guarantee it, as I said, but if I can, I'm enjoying myself. I really am. So thank you to all of you. Um, but yeah, if I can, I will do some live streams on the way around. Um, if we lose the football, then I probably won't. Um, moist with a soggy bottom, Jace. Do you know what? This chair has actually got like the rubbery thing to it, and I'm wearing jeans, so um, I won't answer that, but you can guess. Uh you not commented on my Potter video. Is that the one that you've put up tonight, Sean? It's Friday, you've put one up tonight. No, I haven't commented on that yet because I haven't watched it because I'm live on the YouTubes. So <laughs> I can't watch it. Um, but I will watch it tonight and I will leave a comment. Um, Caroline, what are you doing? Another one of your messages has been held by review. Let's see if we can show this one. We can show this one, Caroline. We'll show this one. I don't know who I'm talking to over here because the camera's up here, but oh well. There we go. Watch, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thank you, Caroline. And um, watch, like, comment, subscribe to Sean and Caroline, see Sean vlog, and everybody that's in this chat because everybody that's come up in this chat is absolutely amazing so um i'm sure you're probably all subscribed to each other already but if you're not go and do it um have you got a soggy bottom um i'm off now jace great live stream look forward to your trip bye rich thanks for joining me um i've watched it and i liked and i commented and i have subscribed yes laura i am subscribed and i will watch it and i will like and i will comment Caroline's just told me the naughty comment while well, I'm shocked. So naughty. Here's me thinking Disney YouTubers were sweet and innocent. I didn't let the comment come on. I am very sweet and innocent. I am an angel. Um, and if you've watched my videos, you know that's a lie. Everyone is awesome. Absolutely, Sean. Everybody is awesome. Um, Nick's picks. Been a while since I've seen a comment. Really? I will go back and check. Oh, I've lost the chat. Here we go. Has the seat got a permanent Jason moist patch? <laughs> I'm leaving my imprint as I go around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, that's the side we portray. Yes, Zoe. People see what we want them to, don't they? Um, although having met people in real life, people are genuinely lovely. So uh, 
but we all have our sides, don't we? And um, mine often comes out on camera. So um, that's just jumped again. I just saw your like and comment, etc. in two weeks' time. Whether I like and comment in two weeks' time, it's still a like and a comment. It still means I've watched it and enjoyed it and taken the time to comment. Whether it takes me two weeks or not is irrelevant. <laughs> but yes, Nick's picks. It does take me some time. And sometimes also, if I'm watching it on the TV indoors, I can't comment while I'm casting it to the TV. And I do sometimes forget to go back and do it on my mobile device, whichever one it is I'm using. So um, I'm sorry, but I do watch you all. And you all know I watch you all. Um, will we be getting a sign-off dance? <laughs> do you really want my moistness flying at the screen? Um, if only people know what goes on behind the scenes of YouTubers. Well, as everybody in here is a YouTuber, I'm fairly certain that most of them do know what goes on behind the scenes. Um, and if they're anything like me, they probably know how much swearing and frustration goes on when they're editing as well. Oh, dear. Um, get her kit off. Sorry? What? Um, I'm with you there, Jason. Watch on TV and then I'll comment later on when I can. Yeah, which is what I do as well. And I do sometimes forget, especially if I watch multiple videos in a row and then I go back and try and remember which ones I've watched and go through YouTube and it's, yeah. So apologies if I do miss commenting. I do try my best. Um, get us all in a room with giggles, laughter and a few drinks maybe, but everyone is even more lovely. Very true. After a drink, everybody is still lovely. Maybe a little bit more crazy, but still lovely. Although some of us... Some of us are crazy enough. Caroline, I'm not dancing in my pants tonight because it's probably going to take me about an hour to peel my jeans off. Um, and that's not good viewing. And not even for me, and they're my jeans. I heard he's going to do the dirty dancing lift with Davina. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> probably end up out the window. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not getting my kit, kit off for a pant time because I just said it's going to take me about an hour to get my jeans off. Um, yeah, Sean, I do use the history function to go back and if I forget, but. Um, it depends whether I fall asleep watching stuff as well. If I fall asleep after I've watched stuff, then I go back the next day and I try and comment and I just get lost. But um, I do do my best to comment on everyone's videos. I feel like you're ganging up on me now. No offense to Jace. I don't want to see his moist pants flying about. I'm with you there, Stacey. Nobody wants to see my moist pants flying about. When I'd done the dance in my pants, they were dry. They were dry. These ones have been on all day and I've had a long journey. So, um, yeah, I will I'll, I'll save you the pant dancing tonight. Um, I don't drink, but I'm still great fun. Yes, you are, Gareth. Absolutely. We, I don't think any of us need drink to be fun. Some people need drink to be a little bit more crazy, but um, no. We all put ourselves on the YouTube for people to watch, so, you know, we're all fun in our own ways. Um. Hint, hint there, Sean, reminding him to comment on yours. I will comment. Right, I will comment. In fact, you know what? I'm going to comment twice. One from me and one from Davina. Um, you set me off laughing now. <laughs> you saying our vlogs are boring, though? Do they put you to sleep, though? That's not what I said, Laurie. You're trying to twist my words again. I said if I fall asleep after I've been watching them, then I forget to go back the next day and comment on the ones that I watched. Um, I'm crying again, Jace. Oh, Caroline, I hope they're, um, they're tears of laughter. Uh, WDW2, hey, thank you for joining me. I can't believe I'm still on here after an hour and 10 minutes. So um, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Am I cray cray? Yes, Sean, you are crazy indeed. Um, 
everyone saying hello to WWD. <laughs> Getting tongue tied again. WDW2, Chris and Becca. Uh, love, love, love Chris and Becca. Made a cameo in uh, my announcement video as well. Chris done some dancing of his own. So if you haven't watched that announcement video yet, go and check out Chris's dancing. And there's also a dance medley in there from me. So um, that's another dance off that has been coined for the future. Gareth, we have evidence to the contrary. Oh, with Gareth not drinking. That is very true. That is very, very, very true. Um, Oh, I think I'm, I'm caught up with the comments. This is amazing. That either means there's less of you in here or it's slowing down or I'm getting quicker. That's definitely not the case. Um, are you all dancing off at the wedding? I don't know. Are you all dancing off at the wedding? Can I um, join? If there is going to be a dance off at the wedding, can I join via FaceTime, please? Or YouTube Live? Whatever. Um, how many dance-offs have you got planned? I was aware of one. Well, technically, I haven't got any planned as such as in hard and fast date and time, but um, I've had many requests for dance-offs. So um, we'll get around to them. We'll get around to them. Come on, quick comment. <laughs> I can't comment. I'm on here. Um We're at my parents' house. Don't forget your dance-off with Chris. Yes. I'm, I won't forget my dance-off with Chris. I won't forget my dance-off with anybody. Um, they will be honoured in the future. We will sort them out. Um, oh. Becca, WD, WD, I can't say it again. Becca, WDW2. We're at my parents' house. Are the parents watching? I know all four of you used to sit down and watch my mini vlogs in Florida. So if WDW2, if Becca's parents are watching, hi, Becca's parents. Good evening. Um, oh, the wedding in Newcastle, Caroline. Yes, there will be lots of dancing at the wedding in Newcastle next year for sure. Um, dance battle white chick style. <laughs> You've seen my dancing. <laughs> You should have a dance off at every road trip destination. With who though? Have I got to pick like some random off the street? And just like Edith from the WI or something and go, come on Edith, let's rock it out. Uh, you got to dance at the place with the stones. Uh, if you honor all these dance off, you'll be on Strictly by the end of them. <laughs> Uh, strictly wouldn't have me. I'd just wipe the floor with everyone. Probably literally, because when I do the fling round, they just sort of fling over the floor and clean it with their dress. But um, I'm sorry, this chair's squeaking a bit. With Davina in it. Dance off with Davina at every every road trip destination. I win hands down. That's not much of a dance off. Um. Edith from the WR, WI sounds like she'd smash it. <laughs> if I see a WI anywhere we go now, I'm going to go in and see if there's an Edith. I promise you that we will find an Edith from the WI if we can. Um, getting her to dance may be a bit trickier, but um, she might make us a cake or something instead. Edith in Edinburgh, Barry in Brecon and Yasmin in York. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to Edinburgh, so um, that one's out. We'll have to find Edith somewhere else. Hashtag, hashtag find Jason Edith. <laughs> Nigel in Newcastle. Nigel in Newcastle, indeed. Although I know a few people in Newcastle that might dance off with me. Just saying, Sean, you know. Nancy in Newcastle. Caroline, that's no way to talk about me. How dare you? Uh, mission for the road trip. We're relying on you, Jason. I will do my best. We will find an Edith. Where are we going that there's going to be an Edith? There's got to be somewhere oldie-worldie that there's got to be a million Ediths. 
Will you be trying local delicacies on your trip? Yes, we will. Absolutely. There will be food in the vlog. Food is in the vlog. Oh, food is in the vlog. But yes, local delicacies on the way round. Maybe a local drink or two as well, but it depends because obviously I'm driving. So um, if we get somewhere early enough in the evening that I can just have one, then maybe some local drinks as well. Um, I'll give that Florida guy a call. <laughs> I'll be happy to dance off with Gaff. Um, I can't talk. I just can't talk. I'll be happy to dance off with Gary for sure. Um, but he's got a bad foot at the moment, so, you know, wouldn't want him to do himself any more damage. I read that as hashtag find Jason Egypt. <laughs> uh, I was going to say he's found a few Egypts already. <laughs> oh, Laura, you do make me chuckle. I'd class myself as an Egypt most of the time as well, but hey. Um, I love Ediths and help a lot of them out daily. Point them in my direction, especially if one of them wants a dance off. Ham and peas pudding stotties. That sounds disgusting. That sounds absolutely disgusting. But I do want to try the other thing that I can't remember the name of. A what? A pan haggerty. Or not a pan haggerty, but pan haggerty. I want to try that, but not quite so sure about the ham and peas pudding stotties. That sounds disgusting. Corned beef pasty is apparently a delicacy. A delicacy of what? Greg's? <laughs> Uh, what are stotties? I believe, I'm sure Caroline or Sean are going to answer. Um, here we go. Stotties are lovely, Jane. Bread. Most of us just call it bread. What the heck is a corned beef pasty? You don't know what a corned beef pasty is? Okay. My friend's daughter is called Edith. She's two, so she'll have some awesome moves. Yes, Stacey. Let's get two-year-old Edith in. She'll probably completely kill me uh, meat and potato balm is that a balm as in a bread roll Welsh rarebit oh I hadn't thought about Welsh rarebit that's like well Welsh cakes yes Laura Welsh cakes we are on the Welsh cakes, cockles and whelks. Is that a delicacy or is that like a desperation thing? Cockles and whelks. We are all over the Wel Welsh cakes though, Laura. We've already got those in our sights. Lobs cows. What are lobs cows? Would you like a fancy scotch egg or custard bread? Fancy scotch egg, not a big fan of custard. Um, I'm confused on these foods. I clearly need to do a similar road trip as well. Yes, Chloe, let's go out and do it together. Uh, you don't want cockles. What, just on their own? Like, not really. You can get them in Folkestone. Um, I love cockles and mussels. It's a song now, isn't it? Live alive, oh, that's it. Done, I'm there, Jason. Yes, Chloe. Um, an hour and 20 minutes. I can't believe you lot are still sat here listening to me. You clearly have nothing better to do. <laughs> and the football's finished. So, um, but I do really appreciate you all being here. You've made this super easy for me even though my throat is starting to seize up because I'm very dry. Uh, we don't have any weird food things where I live. We've got a subway if that counts. <laughs> I suppose it depends what combination you have in the sub. You can make it as weird as you want to. Um, okay, there's got to be something from Shropshire, hasn't there? It was Shropshire, wasn't it? Yeah. Cockles and lava bread. Lava bread? Lava bread? It's because we love you. Oh, Caroline, thank you. Love you guys too. Um, I'm an excellent singer and dance partner for car journeys. 
then you're definitely in, Chloe, definitely. You got plenty of money for old fashioned sweets. I can always find money for sweets, regardless of whether they're old fashioned or not. So, um, yes, and I'm sure um, I can always raid Davina's pockets. Do they do the vegan patty? If they do, it counts, Stacey. Keep keeping us giggling on our Friday night, smashing it, Jay. Thanks, Zoe. I'm glad you're all finding it funny. Even if you're laughing at me, I'm quite happy with that. It's good. Um, I bet you can't wait for Scotland's Amber Nectar Iron Brew. I love Iron Brew. Love, love, love Iron Brew. Although Damien in India's Scotland vlog the other day when India had the Iron Brew cupcake and it didn't taste of Iron Brew. So if I see an Iron Brew cupcake, I'm going nowhere near. But I love Iron Brew. Um, I love you too. <laughs> nice Disney reference there, Gareth. Uh, we could chat to you all day, Jace. Well, we do most days. Yeah, that's true, Laura. <laughs> it is true. Um, what's happening away all day long? Yeah, we do work as well, all of us. But um, you know, some things are more important. Uh, it just goes to show how much we love you. I've picked you over Love Island. Oh wow! Well, what can I say? If you've picked me over Love Island, I'm onto a winner here. So. Thank you, Stacey. We have a restaurant that only does pies. Is that not like a pie shop? Is that Greg's? Um, this is better than Love Island. I don't want to offend anyone by making a comment about Love Island, but thank you very much, Jane and Tom. And you can catch up with Love Island. It's on demand, I'm sure. Uh, lava bread is some mushed up seaweed type stuff. You've really sold that, Laura. That sounds really yummy. <laughs> uh, raid the hotel's seats and beds for loose change. Great idea. Love that. We'll be shaking them up in a little while, checking all the drawers and everything. Um, the only thing I'll probably find is a Bible in the drawer, but we'll look for the money. Um, unless you're with your other friends, then we get shoved in a corner. Laura, behave yourself. Um... I have, a, I have a pie restaurant. Now that's somewhere I need to see. Do they have lamb and mint pasty? You have to come to London for proper pie and mash. Yes. Proper pie and mash in London. With that horrible liquor stuff on it. And I'm not a big fan of mashed potato either. Uh, we'll openly admit I've never watched or will never watch Love Island. I am with you there, Chloe. I have never watched it. I have no intention of watching it, especially as I now don't have a TV license. Um, Nick's Picks. There used to be a cool show about a pie shop. If anyone knows what that was, let us know. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me, Davina. No. Um, I've never seen Love Island either. That's because we spend all our time watching YouTube, Laura, even if we do forget to comment. Lick it isn't horrible, it's delish. Okay, I'll let you have that one. I'll never fight you for that food, it's fine. Um, although the brisket that we had at London Bridge, Jane, that was lush. Uh, do you mean a sitcom, sitcom type show, Nick's Picks? Yes, Nick's Picks. Is it, um, is it a British show about a pie shop? Or is it an American show about a pie shop? American, are you Googling? Other search engines are available for use. Um, YouTube is better. Pushing Who? Pushing daisies. Pushing daisies. Oh, here we go. Look, Nick's Pix has just confirmed. Pushing daisies. There we go. Um,
Charades. Okay. Charades. Let's think about this. I'm back. You can hear me. Yay! We're back. Melted the router. Yes, absolutely. It's probably had enough of me after nearly an hour and a half. But, um, which is amazing. You lot haven't had enough of me, actually. So don't tell him he has sound. A bit late, Sean. You needed to get that comment in before they all told me I've got sound. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know what? I am melting up here. Absolutely melting. So um, hotel Wi-Fi charge now £6 per minute. It is free for 24 hours. We are fine. I did have a little panic, actually, before I came on live that it said 24 minutes which is a good job it wasn't 24 minutes because we've now been on here an hour and a half, but um, it is 24 hours, I can assure you. So that means that when I do come off of the live, I can go and watch your vlogs and comment and like. So, um, yes. I am going to wrap up now, though, guys, because I have been on here an hour and a half. It's 10 o'clock. I'm starving. We've got some vlogs to go and watch. Um, and we've got an early start tomorrow. So... Yes, 24 minutes would be a weird amount of time, but I'm in the middle of nowhere in southwest England, so who knows. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up now, guys. Let you all go and do whatever else you have to do. Um, this was so much fun. Thanks, Davina. Go on, sick of you. I'm not surprised. I'd be sick of me too. I can see myself and I'm sick of seeing myself. So, um, But thank you. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for making this really enjoyable because... This has just been absolutely amazing. I can't believe you've all stuck around so long. I can't believe the chat that we've had in here. It's been absolutely brilliant. So um, I will definitely be doing this again because I've loved every minute of it. Hopefully, if I can do some on the way around, I will. Um, but as I say, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for all the amazing comments I can see coming up. Um, and I will... Oh, going to buy, going to eat my arugula and feta salad with spicy noodle butter <gasps> that sounds amazing but um yeah so enjoy that i'm now going to go and eat some crisps or some chips as you would call them next fix um but yeah thank you all good night sweet dreams and remember life's not about where you're going it's about how you get there see you everyone bye